What's up guys, it's Dazzy, but you don't really care, and it's not quite looking like Zelda Wii U, but damn, look at this just setting, I don't know, it's just, everything's or well, I hope it's orange, otherwise my colour blindness is really showing, but everything's orange, it's all nice and beautiful and environment, oh, I love it. By the way, did you see that new Wii U Zelda, well, it wasn't really a trailer, it was a gameplay looking thing? That was so amazing, like... The way that it's like, first of all, it's like it looks absolutely gorgeous. Like the dynamic lighting and the Wii U just makes everything look better for a start. But the fact that you can, the fact that they've designed so many like ledges where you can look out and look over the entire environment and say, "Hey, I want to go to those mountains," and then you go to those mountains. It really reminds me of Xenoblade and I guess Chronicles, but there's probably others in the series that are probably like that. And I just I don't know, I'm really, I'm really looking forward to it now, because I just saw that this morning, and I'm in a good mood. Anyway, you might be wondering why am I running around in circles in Southern Hyrule Field? Well, if you've seen the last two... Oh, you can't jump down this? Go on, jump! No, no, okay. If you've seen the last two episodes, you'll know that we're searching for Poe Souls. And there's one that spawns right in this pond here, but we need to wait a minute, because it's still not dark enough for it to appear, apparently. So, whoops. Also, oh, there it is. I think. Is that it? Yeah, that is it. Right where I got stuck. Hello! I don't even know where the Mirror of Twilight is. Okay, good. I forgot I can't... It should have been pretty logical that you can't change into a wolf while you're on Epona. Sorry, Epona, but yeah. Also, it might, it might be interesting to note, when you're a wolf, you can talk to animals, and that doesn't exclude Epona. You can talk to her, so I'll show off what that does in a minute, right after I fail at killing this bow. Boom! Yes, but Goblin, please get out my way. Also, I think it's been ever since we got the Master Sword, but it could have been earlier. But Coblins have actually gotten stronger. There is a new, like, variant. They're slightly different coloured, and they take a lot more hits. And where is... Okay. Postal just reset up there, did he? Come on. Had enough fighting you. There we go. You were just here on Hyrule Field, because who cares? Epona, can I... Wow, I did not mean to attack you. I'm sorry. Can I talk to you, please? Even though you change shape, I still understand you. Daz, hurry up and return to your true self. We most certainly will do that. We can transform back into human and teleport elsewhere. Wait, I can't teleport on Epona. I'm a smarty. You know what else I'm looking forward to next year? Star Fox. And that Mario Maker trailer was surprisingly good. There's a, there's a lot of good games coming out for Nintendo next year. You've got Star Fox, Zelda Wii U, the Xenoblade X or Cross, I can't remember how you're supposed to pronounce that, and Mario Maker, so, and probably more. I mean, Pikmin 4 is actually in development, so, yeah, we probably won't be seeing that for another two years. Anyway, where we want to go is right here. It's sort of, it's south of the Lake Hylia Bridge, and the postal is up there. So I believe there is a thing you can hit here, I can't quite remember because it's, it's also dark so I can't really see too well. But let me try, let me try bomb arrows. There we go, I forgot, <laughs> apparently I forgot how to do that. And that's bombable it is, yeah, okay, good. It's too dark for me to see what's going on, oh I see it, I just about see it. I don't know why I needed to blow those up, I'm not even sure if I was, wait, no? Okay, I am just... Being dumb, you'll probably cut, I'll probably cut to when something works in my brain. Oh, I saw it, I saw something. I hope that's the claw Damn, it's too dark for me to see. Oh well, I got something right, there we go. Uh, no, I, come on. Uh, wow, this is a good start. Alright, now we're finally here. Oh, for once the lighting was actually too dark for me. That's quite rare for me. And there's also a chest here for us. Just because, you know, a post is isn't enough reward, apparently. Well, I mean... I guess it could kind of make sense, considering there's so many. But oh well. Come on, for me. Ouch. Maybe not so painfully this time. There we go. And... Oh, the face of failure strikes again. Oh, good. There we go. And... Take him out. Thank you. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba. He's just off on the mountains because we're on the rocks because he used to be the, I don't know, overseer of Lake Hylia. Not very good view from here, but oh, a purple rupee. That's quite good, and now we're almost full. 
What's down here? Oh god, hello! These are actually new enemies that we weren't going to see for a little while. These are bubbles! And these are fire bubbles! And these are, I think, ice bubbles? Probably something like that, or chill bubbles. I mean, ice would make sense considering the last one was fire, but yeah, we were going to be seeing those in the upcoming temples. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. That was badly timed. Don't talk, don't, don't talk while you're trying to sneeze. Okay, ice, please come over. You're not even a bubble anymore. You're just ice. And chest. Or the few shadows may be formed out of darkness. Chests are formed out of light. And Link is greedy that he wants both. He's the both light and dark. Ooh, an orange rupee that I can't hold in my wallet. Okay, good. Well, I'll t if I'm desperate for money, I'll try to remember to come here. Otherwise, let's go get some more stuff. Up next is apparently what's called the like a it's like a theater from what I've been reading at least, and it's right down here. So this is where we actually saw King Boldling the second time I think when we were about to escort Ilya south of the east section out of Castle Town, if that makes sense. And I guess this guy's here for some view or some show, and there's the bridge. Very interesting. Let's move on, nice and quick. Up next is really nice and easy to remember. It's on the bridge on the northern Pyral Field section, right in the middle. Also, we have other enemies to attack. Oh, good. I didn't know this was a stick to them. This is actually going to be kind of difficult. Hold on. Don't hit me, Kosal. You did. No, no, no. Oh, man. This is not going well. There we go. And you. Oh, damn. I almost got you. There you go. Nope. Oh. Really, game? You're gonna patronize me now. Okay. And I should have got hurt by that, but so should have you. There we go. That's too much hassle. I'm not sure how you're supposed to work this out, but then to the east, there's a diggable spot down here with two more posoles. Mm -hmm. Maybe they expected you to use your senses at this point to find the bugs by the tree, even though you could have gotten way before, and somehow I got one posal in all of this mess. Wow. Well, thank you. I think it's best if I take out all these guys first, if I can. Oh boy, just try and stay away from the posal. He will give me trouble. Ah, ah. Oh, this is actually kind of scary. Ah, apparently, when I'm scared and I want to attack, I get angry, apparently. Uh, and you, no, spin attack, hit multiple ones, jump, jump, Jesus, it doesn't help that we're already getting a little bit low on health now, so I'm just trying to sort of be safe, somehow, this is apparently how I play safely, alright, one left, and you hurt me just from spawning, there we go, and now you, whoa, how come, okay, I don't think I've always been able to hit pose that quickly, but I will take it. Is there more so then I can get a chest down here as well? No. Oh, that's a shame. Well, alright then. Up next, we need to go into this cave. Right by the Elden Bridge, you claw shut to get up here, and then you go on through. It seems it's nice and hot in here. That's good. Reminds me of the Goron Mines. And, oh, okay. You want me to do that? I can do that. Ooh. And take them off, and just progress through. It's basic. It, I expect it's pretty linear. It makes sense. I mean, it's not really supposed to be too much of a hard thing. It's just a uh, well done. You found this, so go have fun. I'm also going to see if I can use this time to get some hearts because, well, I've been low on them for a little while now. I don't. I don't really feel very safe anymore. Usually, I feel quite safe fighting in the Zelda game. They're generally quite fun and easy, but. When you're low on hearts, it can be kind of, uh, kind of upsetting. No, Keith, you're putting the camera angle all wrong. Not the way I want it. There we go. Oh, I love that sound effect, too. It's like, wow, 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 wow. 
Oh, good times. Okay, I was worried I was going to just die then, but nope. Plenty of very convenient mag magnets everywhere. Ooh. Oh, it's good. I do have enough in my lantern. Also, you may have noticed I have a jar of worms. Apparently, if you kill a bomb skit and then go near its dead corpse, there could be a worm there and you can scoop it up and it's great for fishing. I never knew about this. I've never really tried to kill a bomb skit before, let alone go near its corpse and swoop stuff. So, yeah. And more money that we can't actually use. Hello. Okay. I'm just going to be extra. People like to bomb you, people like to arrow you, I'll just bomb arrow you. You're welcome. There's a piece of heart we needed. And that's actually what I was looking for, not a post soul. I'm just silly. I do that a lot. And now the last place we're going to is Castle Town with all the screaming people. So nice. But we need to go to the exit of Castle Town, both the west side and the south side. And actually, we did go to this west side once before when we first came here with our centers, but it didn't count on our map, so now it's full. Now we can actually see Castle Town is in fact a square. Now hello, post, post, soul. I'm here and you are the second last one we're gonna get in this, well not, well, not the same session, but first of all in this video, you're the second last one. But second of all, the whole shenanigans between temples. Why are you on a bridge? I don't know, maybe you're a dead guard. But are you keeping evil in or out? Oh well, doesn't matter. Now, after more screaming, I tried to come at night time thinking there'd be less screaming. Didn't work too well. I mean, there is less screaming, but there's still tons of it. Anyway, to the south. What kind of scream was that? The logic of these people is if they see a wolf they should run away, but even if the wolf is going in the same direction, they continue to walk in that run in that same direction, so it just seems like they're running by the side of the wolf. It's very smart. Anyway, the left the last post soul we're gonna get, somehow that's so hard for me to say, is on the stairs to the left of the south exit from Castle Town. I guess he was another guard of Hyrule. Or something. Anyway, I think on that note, I'm going to end it up here. Next time, we're actually going to stop with the posols, maybe start the story, but we do still have a couple other things to do, mainly in Castle Town, but a couple of stuff in Kakarika as well. So for now, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.